immediately place one hand down below. Again, you want to feel that belly expand on the inhale and deflate on the exhale. These nice deep diaphragmatic breaths help to calm the nervous system. Again, inhale, completely fill up the belly. Exhale, let it go. So once you know that you are breathing from the diaphragm, you can relax the hand back down onto the leg. Keep breathing this way. And notice that your attention is only on those deep breaths. Whatever thoughts come into the mind, just let them go. You'll deal with them later. Just make sure you have no tension around the face. The hands are relaxed, the shoulders are relaxed, just sitting up nice and tall. We'll take a couple more breaths. And continuing to breathe right here, take a little body scan from head to toe and just take a moment to think about where you hold your stress. Everybody can hold it in different places. Some people hold it at the jaw. Some people it's the shoulders. Some people it's the belly or the back. So just take a moment, think about it. And now inhale full and deep. And as you exhale, think about the stress and the tension leaving that particular area of the body where you might hold it. Again, the breaths are in and out of the nostrils. Just envision that tension and stress leaving that area. And now we're gonna take a nice deep inhale, and this time we're gonna exhale out with a nice big sigh. Inhale fully, exhale. We're gonna do that two more times. Inhale fully, exhale. One last one, inhale fully, exhale. Release, let go. And from here, we're gonna bring the chin down to the chest. Maybe you can bring the chin in between the little notch of bone. Keep that long, tall spine. Shoulders are relaxed. And on that inhale, raise the chin up toward the ceiling. You can open up the eyes here. Just make sure not to hyperextend. On the exhale, chin down to the chest. Inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down. One more time, take it up and take it down and then roll it over toward the shoulder. Back to center, other side. Inhale. And exhale, like I always say, you want to connect the movements with the breath. So inhale up, exhale down, and we'll hold it over onto that one side. So stay right there, maybe come a little deeper, press gently down onto that head, maybe hold on to the chair here. So again, I also like to say throughout class, just modify if you need to. I can also offer modifications as we go, but listen to and honor your body. One more breath here. Exhale, release, and let's take it to the other side. Roll it over. And again, if you want a little more, gently press down, holding on to the side of the chair here. Taking one more breath. Exhale, release, chin down to the chest and raise the head up. We're gonna bring the hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Roll those shoulders back. <clears throat> On the inhale, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Exhale, bring the hands back to prayer. Inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale, a couple more. Inhale. Exhale, one more time. Inhale. And exhale. With the hands in prayer here, interlace the fingers and release. The palms are going to be facing out. And we're going to inhale, raise the arms up. Exhale, chin to the chest, round the back, navel to spine. Inhale it up. Exhale it down. Inhale. Exhale two more times. Inhale. Exhale one last one. Inhale. Exhale. Raise it up and just release the arms down and just shake the arms out a little bit. Maybe roll out the wrists. Other direction. And hands will come back to heart center. On the inhale, reach the arms up again. Once again, interlace and flip the palms. They're facing up. Make sure you feel nice and grounded down through the feet. Take a side bend to one side. Inhale, back up to center. Exhale, other side. Inhale. Exhale, and again, center. Other side, we'll take it one more time each way. And once again, we're gonna release the hands, but from here, start to just rotate the fists. And now start to rotate the other direction, taking the arms up. And then again, hands back to heart center in prayer. And then from here, maybe shift yourself up a little bit in your seat. Just giving yourself a little space behind the back. Hands again, come to heart center. On the inhale, reach the arms up. On the exhale, interlace the hands behind the back. So I'm just going to show you, you don't have to get up, you don't have to move. I'm just going to get up just so you can see my hands are interlaced here. And then from here, Lift the heart and chest, gaze up. Now, depending on what kind of chair you have, your hands might hit the back of the chair. That's okay. Just try to keep the arms nice and straight. Gaze up here. Take one more breath. And now on the exhale, release the hands to the knees and take the rounded back and the chin to the chest. Holding right here for one more breath. And now on the inhale, long, tall spine, sit up nice and tall. So we're going to take the hands to the heart again, and then from here, open them out like they're coming into a little goal post here. We're going to work into the abdominals here. So take the navel to the spine as you sit back a little bit. And then when you inhale, come up, bring the hands to touch. And then again, sit it back, navel to spine, inhale and exhale. So again, you want to make sure you have space between your back and the back of the chair. Inhaling and exhaling a couple more. And one more. And again, you have your hands in prayer at heart center. Again, shoulders are down the back. We're going to take a little twist. So turn Look behind you if it's comfortable. If not, look forward, whatever works for you. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale, twist the other way. Again, your gaze is where it's comfortable for you. Back to center, we'll move it through. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale a couple more. We'll take it last time each side. And release, and again, just shake out the hands here. Rotate the wrists. And we're gonna take those shoulders up toward the ears. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, one more time, inhale, 
exhale now inhale and roll the shoulders back and grab onto the chair once again opening up the front the chest gaze up one more breath come back to neutral roll the shoulders forward holding onto the chair once again navel to spine and chin to the chest one more breath here and come to sit up nice and tall once again hands come to the heart and from here we're going to inhale reach the arms up on the exhale bring a knee in and switch sides inhale exhale inhale exhale couple more and we're going to hold here once again interlace extend the arms long and bring the chin down inhale reach the arms up exhale bring them back to the heart roll the shoulders back now from here on the inhale again reach the arms up on the exhale we'll take the opposite arm to the outside of the opposite knee so tap here and other side inhaling and exhaling we'll take one more tap each knee And again, bring the hands back to the heart. Just take a nice deep breath here, relaxing the arms and shoulders for a moment. So we're gonna do it again. We're gonna change it up a little bit. So on the inhale, reach the arms up. Again, you wanna plug those shoulders in. Inhale again, opposite, but we're gonna extend and tap the foot again. Extending and bending inhaling and exhaling working into the abdominals a little bit and the hamstrings the back of those legs the abdominals like i said shoulders and we're going to take one more tap each side and again release the hands back to the heart take a moment Make sure the toes are pointing forward again, feet or hips distance. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands to the heart. And now we're gonna release the hands down, just holding on to that chair. You've got good posture here. And just start to take little rocks from side to side. Taking one more breath and release it and now we're going to walk it a little bit back into that chair and again forward just be mindful of where the edge of your chair is of course just little hip walks forward and back we'll take it one more time
we can't hear Kathy. We can't hear Kathy. She's muted. Kathy's muted. Can you hear me now? Yes, now. Okay, I don't know what happened. Sorry about that. Thank you for letting me know. All right, so again, we're gonna take it down to our triangle. So with our triangle, you have the options to place the hand on the higher part of your chair or on the seat of your chair. Bring that leg that's closest so that it's pointing toward the chair. Other leg, you have a nice stance here with the toes pointing out on an angle. Bring the arms up here, hinge forward, go as far forward as you can comfortably go. And again, option to take the hand to the high part of the chair, the lower part of the chair, opposite arm comes up. Otherwise, if you can, take it right down onto the leg, up to you. And again, your gaze, wherever you like, you can gaze forward or down. Remember, you have that chair, lots of options here. Hold in your trikonasana, your triangle pose. Take one more nice deep breath here. And on that inhale, make your way back up to stand and then release the arms down. Step it closer into the chair. We're gonna to go to our dancing Shiva now. A Little bit of balance. So again, toes are pointing forward, feet hits distance. Let's take that outside leg and turn it. Come on to the ball of the foot. Outside arm is up. You can maybe take the thumb and the finger to touch here. And then just bend that knee, flex the foot. Hold for your balance here. A slight little bend in that standing leg. So up to you. Maybe you can take a couple of fingertips on that chair if you wanted to try. Again, up to you. Don't have to. You could even bring the opposite arm up and hold for balance there. Again, don't have to, you can be right here. Hold for one more nice deep breath and release it all down. <clears throat> so I'm gonna turn toward the chair. Actually, we all should turn toward the chair. And again, that same leg that we were just uh, holding up, we're gonna see if we can work into that quad stretch here. So step it back with that leg, bend that knee, and maybe you're right here. Maybe this is where you're gonna stay. If you can, try to grab the ankle, bring the navel toward the spine, stand tall, get that nice quad stretch. Again, you have that chair there. If you wanted to, fingers or all the way up, your choice. Balance and breathe. Take one more nice deep breath. Exhale, release it all down. And we're gonna take that outside leg one more time. Just bend it, bring it up, and start to make circles here for that hip joint. Inhaling and exhaling. We'll pause and go the opposite direction. And release it all down. And once again, I'm going to turn my chair. You don't necessarily have to do what works for you. We're going to make our way into our downward facing dog. <clears throat> so actually, I'm going to give a couple of options today. You can have your hands on the high part of your chair, if you like. Walk it back. So again, toes are pointing forward, feet are hips distance. And if you can, you're bringing the ears in line with the biceps. So you're right here. Get a little softness in the knees. So another option would be if you wanted to go a little bit deeper, you could have your hands on the lower part of the chair. So up to you. Again, make your choice wherever you want to be. And again, too, if you wanted to stay seated, if you wanted to stay seated, you would just come into this little fold right here. So wherever you are, just taking one more breath, little soft bend in the knees, and then start to carefully round it up to stand, nice and tall with the shoulders back. So now we're gonna take the same thing, but we're just gonna take it to a wide-legged stance. 
And so outside, like legs are a little bit wider than your chair. So again, you have options, the low part of the chair or the high part of the chair, wherever you wanna be. Let's start with the hands at the heart. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, and again, high or a low part of the chair. Again, a little softness in the knees. Breathe. Taking one more breath. Again, soft little bend, very carefully and very slowly. Make your way up to stand. And then once again, I'm gonna shift my chair and we're gonna make our way to the other side. So we're gonna start with that triangle, switching sides here. <clears throat> so again, toes are gonna to be pointing forward. Back leg, toes are out on an angle. The knee stays mostly straight, but just not locked out. Options for the high part or the low part of the chair or even the leg. Bring the arms out to shoulder level. Hinge forward here, go as far forward as you comfortably can. And then again, you're either on the seat or the top of the chair or maybe down onto the leg, top arm up. And again, gaze where it's comfortable for your head and neck, maybe forward or up. If not, looking down. Again, make it work for you. Holding your trikonasana or your triangle pose for another breath here. Inhale, make your way back up and we'll step it up. And again, we'll turn and we'll face forward. So we're gonna take it again to our dancing Shiva. So the outside leg, turn, come onto the ball of the foot. And we're gonna rise that leg up, flex the foot, outside hand, maybe taking a mudra with the thumb and the finger together here. So again, your balance, you've got your whole hand on the chair, maybe just some fingertips, or if you wanted to, up to you, both arms up. And I've got thumb and forefinger together here, my navel's back to my spine, my standing leg is nice and strong. Holding for another breath. And let's release it all down. Outside leg again, we're gonna take those little circles, so again, you wanna come onto the ball of the foot, bring it up and start to make circles here. And reverse the direction of the circle. And hold here. <clears throat> and we're gonna make our way back to our mountain pose. <clears throat> So again, we've got feet hips distance, toes pointing forward. One more time, we're gonna take it from our mountain to our chair. So again, if you wanna sit in the chair, always an option to sit and just work the arms. So from here, inhale, arms up, sit into your chair. Exhale, mountain, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, a few more. Again, you go as deeply as you want to go. And two more, inhale. Exhale, last one, inhale. And exhale, back to your mountain pose. Stand nice and tall, take a nice deep breath, inhale. And exhale, release it. I'm gonna turn my chair again. So again, you have the option, you could either use the top part of the chair or you could use the bottom part of the chair, whatever you wanna do. I'm gonna show you the bottom part first. So we've got one leg forward, I've got my right leg forward, the other leg back. So coming into a lunge here, and again, my fingertips are just on the chair here. I've got a nice tall back, tall torso, crown of the head is up. And that back leg, notice I'm on the ball of my foot here. Nice lunge here. So again, you could have the chair facing the other way and you could be a little higher up in your lunge, up to you. You could even be seated in the chair for your lunge. Take one more breath. Step that back leg up. Inhale, bring the arms up. Exhale, 
hands to the heart. We're going to switch out the legs. So this time, taking the opposite leg back. So again, bottom part of the chair, top part of the chair, wherever you want to be. Step it back with the other leg. Again, you're on the ball of the foot. The torso stays lifted. Gaze is forward. Crown of the head is lifted. You're getting a nice stretch in the um, hip area here. The hip flexor. Hold for another breath. Take one more big step forward. Stand tall. Hands to the heart. Take a nice deep breath. And release it. So from here, again, top or bottom part of the chair, up to you. I'm going to stay at the bottom part. I'm going to step it back. So I've got my right leg forward and my left leg back. I'm leaning a little farther into the chair. I've got the edges of the chair. Inhale, my knee comes forward and I'm rounding my back. One more breath here. Release. Stand tall, arms up, hands to the heart. I'm going to switch out, other side. Again, hands on the chair, step back with the opposite leg. And again, bring that knee in toward the nose, round the back. Another breath here. Release and stand, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the heart. Now I'm going to turn the chair around, and if you have the low part of the chair or the seat part, if you could do the same so that you have the higher part, the back edge of the chair in front of you, that would be great. So we're going to hold onto the chair, step it back, and then from here, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. So if this is too much and balance, you feel more comfortable, you can tap the toes down. Inhale, exhale. A couple more. If you're seated, you're just bringing the knee up to the nose from the seat. Let's walk it up. Stand tall, hands at heart. Inhale again, arms up. Exhale, hands back down to the chair, and we'll take it to the other side. Leave yourself some space. Step it back with the other leg and bring it in. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Inhale and exhale. And release. Inhale and exhale. So I just remembered one of the stretches that we need to do on this leg that we didn't do yet. So we're going to do it now. And actually, I'll keep my chair right like this. So that opposite leg, so that leg that's facing the outside, that quad stretch that we did before. So let's bend that knee. And again, if you're just bending here and you can't grab the ankle, just stay right there. Otherwise, if you can grab the ankle, stand nice and tall, crown of the head lifted, gaze forward, hold here, navel to spine. Taking one more nice deep breath. And then exhale and release it down. I'm going to turn my chair to face forward. We're going to make our way back into the chair. So again, this is a good time to notice how you're feeling. Remember, do what you can. Listen to your body. Maybe now's a good time to take a drink. I'm going to grab a sip right now. And make your way into the chair. So we're going to take a sun salutation, a variation in the chair, so a seated sun salutation. So once again, we want to sit tall. We want to bring the shoulders back. Crown of the head is lifted. Hands are going to come to the heart. On the inhale, we're going to reach the arms up. They're in prayer. Take a little back bend. On the exhale, fold forward here, chin to the chest. On the inhale, sit up tall, grab that knee, exhale, and nose toward knee. Release it down, inhale again, arms up for the back bend, exhale, round down, inhale, hug the other knee, 
nose comes toward it. Release it down. Inhale, back bend, palms together if you can. Exhale, other side with the knee. Pull it in. Release it down. Arms up, back bend. Fold forward. Again, hug that knee in, bring it toward the nose. Release it down. Inhale. Exhale to fold. Inhale, bring the knee up toward the nose. Release it, arms up, back bend, and fold. And again, grab the knee toward the nose. Release it. We're going to take it through one more time. Take that back bend and fold. Knee up and toward the nose. Release it down. Arms together, back bend. And again, fold. Bring the knee up and bring it in. Release it and bring those palms together or as close together as you can here. And again, we're going to arch back, look up. Take another breath here. And we're going to hold that fold forward. Just let the head relax, let it all go. Take another breath. And once again, grab that one knee, bring it toward the nose as close as you can. Hold for another breath here. And then right away, we're just going to switch out the legs. Hug it in toward the nose. And release it. Sit up nice and tall. So that was your seated sun salutations. Now we're going to take that one leg out to the side. We're going to have the toes pointing up. And again, adjust yourself in your chair as you need to. We're going to bring the hands to the heart. We're going to slide that hand down that leg and the opposite one comes up. So just go as far as you comfortably can onto the shin, maybe not the shin, maybe the quad, wherever you can, whatever's comfortable for you. Nice straight leg here. Again, the foot is flexed. Gaze where it's comfortable for your head and neck. Take one more breath. Release it down. So now we're going to change this leg a little bit. So this leg is going to come now so that the toes are pointing forward and the foot is flat down. Hands again are right at the heart. On the inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale again. We're going to slide that arm down that leg. Opposite arm overhead. Get that nice side stretch. Take one more breath. Exhale, release, step it back in, and we'll make our way to the other side. So again, make sure you're comfortable in that chair. Take that opposite leg out to the side. And again, it's a nice straight leg. You're on your heel. The foot is flexed. Hands are at the heart. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, slide that hand down that leg. Reach the other arm up. Again, look where it's comfortable for you. Take one more breath. Inhale, make your way up. And we're going to take that leg just like we did before. It stays out to the side, but the foot is flat down. The toes are pointing forward. Hands are at the heart. Inhale again, reach the arms up. Exhale, slide the arm down and reach palm overhead this time. Nice long reach. Taking one more breath here. And release it. And we're going to bring the leg back in. We're going to take one leg across the other one. If this isn't comfortable or this doesn't work well for you, you can just cross at the ankles instead. If you can, you're here, sitting up tall. Hands are at the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. We're going to go for a twist here. Opposite hand to that knee, wherever that knee may be. 
opposite hand, the other arm goes either to the chair or back of the chair. And again, take a nice twist. So maybe you can press into that knee with the hand very gently. If you wanna go a little more deeply, maybe you can take the elbow outside the knee. Up to you. Again, listen to your body, do what you can. Taking another breath here. And we'll release it, come forward and we'll switch sides. So again, either crossing at the ankles or here. So either way, I'm gonna stay crossed at the ankles for this one. <clears throat> Hands come to the heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale. So with this one, you're just holding on to the knee here, gently pressing in. Again, this hand will come down or to the back of the chair and you'll look over your shoulder. So again, this is the cross at the ankles. If you're crossed here, same thing or a little deeper, elbow outside the knee. Whenever you take the twist, you get nice fresh blood in the organs, helps with digestion. Stay right here for one more nice deep breath. And then make your way forward as you exhale and release it. So we're gonna work into the ankle just a little bit here. So hug that one leg in and start to rotate one direction and the other. Hold in center, point and flex. And then a little bit of a deeper hamstring stretch. Again, shift yourself on the chair as you need to. Come onto the heel, keep the foot flexed, and hinge forward. Feel that stretch down the back of the leg. Inhale, come up, other side. So again, shift back in the chair if you like. Hug the other knee in and rotate. Other direction. Hold and center, point and flex. And then again, we'll go for that hamstring stretch. So again, shift forward in the chair, however you feel comfortable. Foot is flexed, you're on the heel here and hinge forward. Taking one more breath. And release it and sit up tall. Make your way back into a comfortable seat. We're gonna finish out the class with our final relaxing. So again, as comfortable as you can here, I'm gonna lower my lights completely. Again, if you wanna do the same, feel free. If you wanna grab a drink before final relaxation, also feel free. So we're gonna consciously relax everything here. So just think about the face, nice and soft space between the eyebrows, relaxed. The jaw is relaxed, the lips are parted. The shoulders are down, you have a long, tall spine. The hands are relaxed, however you like. Maybe you wanna just turn the palms up this time. Whatever's most comfortable, whatever's most relaxing. No tension in the legs. And just settle in and close the eyes and breathe. So once again, do a body scan here from head to toe. Notice how you're feeling. Notice how your practice makes you feel. Notice what it does for your flexibility, for your balance, and maybe a little bit of strength. So all those things we should take into the rest of our days. Once again, balance, flexibility, and strength, and also peace and calm. So with that, I'm gonna just read a little something. <clears throat> Stay calm and centered today. Focus on inner peace. Make happiness, love, and serenity your deepest desires. Fill your heart with positive energy to support your need for a calm and peaceful day. Reflecting here on those words for another moment or so. So 
So from here, start to just take the head from side to side. Hold in center, wrap the arms around the shoulders, give yourself a nice hug here. And release it, start to just gently wriggle the fingers, wriggle the toes, circle the wrists, other direction. Hands down onto the chair, circle one ankle, other direction, release, other side, circle the ankle, other direction, release, and bring the hands to the heart. Take the chin down to the chest for a moment. Honor yourself for being here, being dedicated to doing something good for your body, mind, and spirit. All those components of our yoga. And remember, at any time, call on those deep breaths when you need to feel more peaceful or calmed if you're having a stressful moment. I wish you a peaceful day. I thank you for joining me today. Hope you'll be here again soon, once again, to do something good for you. We'll take our final bow. Let's bring the thumbs to the third eye and center. And we'll take that final bow. I honor you. Namaste. Thank you, everyone. Have a wonderful, peaceful day. Thank you very much. That was good. Oh, you're very welcome. Thank you for being here. Have a great day.